Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial from biggerplate.com showing you how to format your Xmind mind maps. For the purposes of this exercise we're going to come up to this top right hand corner and to this formatting sidebar where you'll find a selection of easy to use tools that help you to adjust the color, the shape, the size, the font etc of your topics within your mind map. So for example if we wanted to change the fill of our central topic here we can just click on this and make it a lovely pale pink. We could change the shape here and make it into a nice diamond shape and maybe we'll change the font to Lobster 2 because that's just a wonderful name for a font if nothing else. And you'll see we can also change whether it's bold or italics, uh, left aligned, center aligned, etc. We could also change the shape, shape of branches here. So if we change this to a nice curve, you'll see it affects all the branches just below the topic you've selected. The ones further down are unaffected. Similarly, if I click on studying here, I can change the branch shape to a straight line and it'll only affect the level immediately below. If you wanted to affect multiple levels or multiple subtopics with your formatting, you can click and drag to select multiple levels. And for example, we could change the fill on all of these to make it a nice pale blue. And we can change the branch shape on all of the above as well to make it a nice squared off right angle. Uh, if you wanted to select individual topics, but multiple at the same time, if that makes sense, let me show you. We can hold down control on a PC or command on a Mac. Then, for example, we might select book review, steps, personal info, and apartment, and we can then alter those specific topics collectively. So we'll give them a nice pale green fill. If we come up to the top right-hand corner once again to this map sidebar, you'll see this allows us to make changes to the map in its entirety. Things like giving it multi-branch colors that will apply to the entire map, giving those lines, making those lines tapered so they're a bit bolder and tapering towards the end. You can also change the structure of your map. So for example, we could make it a right aligned map, we could make it an org chart, or the one that I use the most, an auto balanced structured mind map, like so. That then means if I move things around, Xmind will automatically balance it all out and ensure that it's roughly equal on either side of your mind map. Just returning to our sidebar and to specifically the map sidebar, you'll find you can also change the background color of your map in its entirety, so we can give it a nice pale yellow color. If you'd rather not be dealing with all of the individual formatting and you'd rather just focus on the content, you can choose one of Xmind's pre-made themes. So if we click change theme here, you'll see you're presented with a nice selection that does all the formatting for you and allows you to just get on with the content creation while still creating a striking, visually engaging mind map. So for example, if we were to select the snow brush option here, it'll automatically put the entire map into that particular theme's formatting. Hopefully this has provided some nice, brief, useful insights into how to format your mind maps to ensure they're visually engaging and personal to you. For more XMind templates, tutorials, and training, head to biggerplate.com.